What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, gonna bring you one of the greatest classic rock songs of all time. Freedom Rock, turn it up, man! Anyway, uh, we'll zoom in, show you all the, the chords and the little tricks. There's lots of little licks and techniques that can be used in all kinds of rock and blues, so it's just a great, great, valuable uh, bunch, of, bunch of chops in here. Uh, also, real quick, thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel here. Uh, got a lot of stuff planned, and I can't wait to uh, share it with you. So thank you for that. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's zoom in, break this one down. Here we go. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing we do is we take a D chord, but we're not going to be worried about that middle finger. In fact, the middle finger can come right off. And then the second chord, your middle finger comes down to the third fret of the A string, and your index comes off. And so that's like a C add nine. But the middle finger is muting the D string. Then the middle finger moves over to the third fret of the E string, and pinky comes down on the third fret of the high E. And we call that a G5 or just a G chord. So you have D add nine, because the middle finger's off. Then C add nine. And then G5 or G. And pretty much the whole song revolves around those chords, but there's lots of stuff going on uh, that embellish all around those chords. So let's start with the intro. Start with that D chord, and we're going to hit two times on the open D string, like that. Then we're going to go to the B string and pick that once, and then the G string. So you put those together. And there's always going to be kind of another little up strum after that. Middle finger goes to the third of the A, index comes off, and now we pluck the A string twice. And then we do the same move over here, B and G. You put those together. Then middle finger goes to that third chord, the third fret of the E string, pinky comes down. And you do that same move there. So um, there's the first lick. We'll just call it lick number one. It sounds like this. Very southern rock sounding. It starts with the open A and then a hammer to the second fret. Then the open D. Then a second fret pull off. We go to the second of the A, so then we do the open A, hammer to the second, then the open D, which is right back into the chord again, so. So the next lick, and we'll keep, you know, adding to it, the next lick is all on the G string, and we're doing pull off on the second, then the open G, so, then fourth fret on the G, and I'm using my ring finger, open G then, then I'm bending the fifth fret of the G up a whole step to the D note which is the root again. So let's put all that together now, shall we? It 
goes back to this. Then it does a variation of the first lick. And this is the only time that this next lick happens. And it starts the same way. Let's see. So open A, hammer second, open D, pull off second, second fret of A, and then you roll over to the second fret of the G and then pull off. All right, so all those together. Finally, and that's just the final lick there. Hammer on the second of the A, open D, open G. And then we go into the verses, which are still those same chords. And, you know, keep in mind there's three different guitars going on. Um, so we're kind of doing a little combination a little bit of some of the best of the parts. So the now the verses are a little more strummy, but those same chords. And then you do the... It's going to do that again. So then there's a there's a lick that happens, and obviously there's more stuff to show you, but there's a lick that happens before every chorus that's a little different. I'll show you that in a second, but um, the next thing we got to learn is this part. So what's going on is we have a D bar chord right here, and forget about that root right there. So we take our index finger and cover this part of it. So it's the seventh fret of the D, G, and B. And we can also cover the A string too. And on the A string, we go seven, eight, nine. And then that little strummy part of the chord. And I'm going back to that A string. You don't have to. So we go a whole step down, and it's similar. The tech, the like chord shape's the same, but I'm hammering from the fifth of the A to the seventh of the A. Then the chord. So we have this one. Then we go like this. Five, six, seven on the E. Then I go to the five of the D there. And then I'm hitting the G note right here is the third fret, and I'm just playing a G bar chord.
let's do all that from the top. Starts with the opening. Okay, now here comes the chorus and there's a new lick. And it's a hammer on from the open A to the second, then the open D, open G. Then a pull off on the second of the D. Then we go to the open A and we hammer the second fret. Then the chords. And then there's another new lick, but they're all similar kind of licks. So let's do this. Here's the. Uh, the verse again. Here comes the lick. Now we have a new lick. Starts the same, hammer on on that second fret of the A string, open D, pull off second, and then middle finger on the third of the A, which is the C note. So, Sweet home Alabama, new lick. So then there's that another new lick. A lot of licks. Um, this time, and these are all things you can use in your guitar playing, um, it's a hammer on uh, the second fret of the D, and then the open G. And it keeps repeating that. So chorus. New lick. Finally, we have F, C, and however you can play an F bar chord to a C, I'm playing this one. So three, three, two, one, and then three, two, open G, one. And that gets you going. So here's here, here let's do the whole thing from the top, uh, kind of slow. Thank you. 
And so let me show you another guitar part for the chorus, which is the more blues thing, um, technical term, blues thing. So a D power chord, so fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the D. And then I add my pinky up to the ninth of the D. Whole step down, same thing, which is a C power chord. Then I scoot it up to a G power chord. And the rhythm's a little different. Dun, dun, rest, dun. So dun, 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 rest, dun. Then the lick. So check it out. That was it. Thank you once again. Also, thank you for subscribing to this YouTube channel of mine. Uh, and if there's a lesson you'd like to see me do, go ahead and like this video and leave it in the comments and I will check it out. Uh, once again, thank you and hope to see you in another lesson real soon. See you later.